Well, joining me is Mary Margaret Sabangi and uh, Mary Margaret uh, from Ville Saint Laurent. She went to Garden View Elementary School. And Mary Margaret, the last time we saw each other was a long time ago when you came back to Garden View and the kids went wild because you were in a show <laughs> called Galidor. You remember that show, Galidor? I can't forget Galidor. Uh, my son played with the action figures for the first time <laughs> a couple of months ago, and he like couldn't connect. He's oh. two. Um, so you can connect the toy with like mama, but, uh, but I, uh, yeah, it's, it's my that legacy. Funny. But you started yeah. acting Mary Margaret at a young age and then yeah. you stopped to do other things. Tell us what were you doing during all those years? Yeah. So I've, um, I've kind of moved around and traveled and the work I do now is kind of bringing together, um, my passion for acting and creative work with, Doing good in the world is the simplest way to say it, but um, doing sort of advocacy and um, awareness raising around climate change and the environment and other social issues and thinking about how to tell people stories that will get them engaged in things that matter. So you've now made a return to acting. Well, you've done a few things over the years, but something that I just saw the movie it was wonderful. I think people will love it. It's called Pink Lake and you're the central character, um, and it will be uh, screened at the end of May and uh, probably available on some platform, either in theaters or others uh, in the, the, the months ahead. So tell us uh, tell us quickly, what, what is that about? Yeah, so Pink Lake was written and directed by a creative pair and a couple, Daniel Schachter and Emily Gann. Um, and it is about, um, a woman who wants to have a child and approaches her good friend to be her sperm donor. Um, and it's it takes place in a very intimate setting and is about the discussion between him and his girlfriend or his, his partner and uh, my character, who's the woman who wants to have the child uh, and how they sort of negotiate the emotions and the decision to either be the the donor or not it's an interesting premise it's not one that i've actually been exposed to in seeing movies so i thought it's very unique and 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 frankly like you said it's some it's an issue that like you told me before that a lot of couples deal with you know uh wanting to have a child one 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 side not wanting to have it infertility issues like that yeah i think we live in a, a very unique and um like Privilege isn't the right word, but um, we're, we're fortunate that we have these technologies now that help families um, be created. Um, okay. And and that technology has a lot of implications for people's uh, personal lives and emotional lives, and um, and for what families could look like. And so I think. It's a, it opens up a whole set of questions that are really, really interesting. And I'm really passionate about helping more stories about that journey or journeys like that uh, to be told. Because, you know, I went through something si not similar, but um, we went through our own journey. And I, I, when I was going through it, I was like, why does no one talk about this stuff? Yeah. It's so important. Yeah. Yeah. Now, you know, I, I enjoyed the movie. I thought you did, you were, you were very convincing. You, you know, believe me, you, you were really in character because when I watched it, like, I, I felt like, hey, you know, I was feeling what you were feeling almost. And as I told you, it made me even feel a little bit squirmy when you were there yeah. with the other couple dealing with this very touchy issue. Uh, and so did it give you the bug to come back and do more uh, movies and TV down the line? It's a, it's a good question. And I will say for sure. I mean, um, it's really so much fun to make stuff with friends, especially. Um, and I think now that I'm a little bit older, um, the sort of anxiety around performance is really worn away and I, I can have a lot more fun, honestly, and, and like just participate in telling a great story and like just immerse myself in character. Um, so yeah, for sure. All right. Well, terrific. So listen, we'll, we'll certainly publicize when it comes out, but good luck uh, in your career. And it was good to reconnect again. Thank you so much, Mike. Great talking to Mary Margaret Sabangi.